Hey guys, Pettinenton79 here. Uh, just gonna show you guys how to modify your Squirrel Buster Mini and add a little bit of tension to the mechanism right here so that you can allow uh, bigger birds and uh, you know different species and still being able to uh, manage squirrels. So uh, let me show you how you take it apart. So basically you have two screws on the bottom uh, Phillips screws right here if you hear my cat in the background she needs attention and I'm gonna be right with her after this so you have two screws on the bottom that you need to take uh, take off so you just basically unscrew these two screws uh, you don't need to, to play with the nut there so the only thing that matters is this, uh, these two screws so very simple guys it's a simple modification you need two screws a couple of springs and that's basically it so let me just take that one off click and let's take the other one off and it basically takes two seconds guys all you need to do after that is to uh, be able to um, play with the spring tension and use different size spring to get spring uh, loaded to whatever uh. so basically I already modified it but I want to show you guys so you basically uh, take it off so once it is complete you just take that off slide that slide the entire part there so that you don't need anymore you place it on the side just remember where it goes so basically the modification that i made is just that but i want to add a little bit more tension so i'm going to use a different size spring and i'm going to use something a little bit longer with a little bit more tension but not too much tension so that should do it so right there it's adding me it's doubling the length and this thing is pretty stiff so a co couple with that one it should give me enough tension for uh, blue jays and all that all the other types of birds so after that you just take the cap put it back on there click you just put it back inside there so basically you're just putting the cap whoops and it's hard to do on camera let me just get the cap back so basically you just take that cap you just put it back there you place it back you just put the top back in and once it's in there click not too complicated so right here on the bottom you have some little tabs that are gonna align so I don't know if you guys could tell there's some little tabs that you just need to slide on there so once it's slided in that that plays some tension so once that's slided in there you could just place your screw back in there so you just screw it in. I'm just going to put one screw and just do some testing to see if the tension is the way I like it or not. So you place that screw back in there while holding tension there. So I'm just doing this on camera one handed. So it shouldn't be too hard, even if you have need two people to do it. So a little bit of tension. Now let's test it out and see how much tension we got in there. So let's place it back in there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect for blue jays. Attention, a squirrel is still gonna get denied, but now you have way much more. Dude, a couple, two blue jays, I think, are gonna be able to stand on there. So I got some big uh, North American gray squirrels, and uh, they're 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 gonna be denied still. I think they're still gonna be denied. If they manage to get on there, I'm gonna have to readjust the tension, put a smaller spring back in there. I don't have anything with lighter tension that I could put on there no that's pretty much the lightest tension that I've got on this one so it's either that or I place two like that so that one's a little bit lighter but I need something a little bit longer and a little bit lighter if I want to so something like that I need a second one like that so guys you can play with the tension as much or as little as you want so if you want to add some tension or uh, place it back there so i might i might add these two small ones but you guys get the gist of it so once you put the uh, screws back in there then you're back in business so uh, i think it would still be a little bit too tight for uh with that tension that i pushed so i'm, I'm just going to change it but you guys get the gist of it so easy modification for the squirrel buster mini so all you have to do is take off that part Take that screw, those two screws on the bottom there, Phillips, Phillips, and these things align with the little tabs in there. So it's you really can't mess this up. The only thing is you need to adjust tension. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed this quick demonstration video on how to modify the tension on your Squirrel Buster Mini because this has uh, only one tension. So uh, if you want to put it so that uh, bigger birds uh, like uh, Blue Jays and stuff like that can get on there, uh, well, you can do it easily with that. So uh, without compromising the effectiveness of a uh, squirrel um, being able to get the, the squirrel not to go in your feeder. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, thumbs up is always appreciated. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.